Craig, do you think they were most nervous at the 6 spot with the Giants picking, or was it around the 10-11 spot with the Broncos-Bengals combo back-to-back, who both uh, apparently had interest in quarterback, though went in different directions? Yeah, uh, Jay said it was with the Giants, and that when they went with Daniel Jones that they knew they were going to be not in the clear because you also have to remember, although obviously at that point the Giants would not trade up, you you know anybody could have traded up right in front of the Redskins and potentially taken Dwayne Haskins, but that there was only a few teams they were going to have to dodge, and they felt pretty good with how the board was falling that those teams weren't going to wind up taking the guy they wanted. So um, they they said it was the Giants. Um, I was definitely interested to see if Miami or you know Cincinnati or Denver uh, took took. Haskins, um, but ultimately their guy falls and they get the guy they want. Let me ask you this. Um, if if Gruden had to take a quarterback at 15 and Jones was still on the board with Haskins, I know I know Gruden didn't want to take a quarterback, but if he had to take a quarterback and it was Jones or Haskins, who do you think he would have taken? If it was Gruden's call, I think yeah. he would have taken Jones. Okay. Um, but yep. it was not his call. Right, right. Uh, and- they didn't wind up having to have that fight in the room. What, what do you think? was long gone. Yeah, what was the reaction from the people you talked to? Uh, I don't know how many people you talked to over there at Redskins Park, but that Jones went six. Um, I didn't talk as much about that. I talked to a couple people about Haskins. Um, but I, I think that they were moderately surprised. Um, maybe it went, but really not that surprised. That, you know, there's a lot of intel flowing around, and, and the intel doesn't just flow amongst media types. This is NFL, or the, this is the kind of NFL team, how you get information is having information. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, the Redskins probably had a pretty good idea that the Giants wanted a quarterback and that Daniel Jones was a guy that was really high for them. And, and well, I don't think most people thought they'd pull the trigger on him at six. They might try to wait it out till 17. Um, I do think that, uh, you know, they, they probably weren't that shocked. Um, and then, uh, obviously, moving up 20 spots to get to Montez Sweat. You mentioned uh, it could be uh, just a force on the end for them for, hopefully, for the next seven to ten years. This is a kid who uh, originally went to Michigan State, transferred out, um, played a couple years at, at Mississippi State, legit player, just legit. Uh, ran a four four at the con four four one I think it's just absurd at that size. Measured at six foot six, uh, two hundred sixty pounds. Um, you know, kind of built like just like a built like a tight end can run faster, probably faster than tight most tight ends. Oh, yeah. um, what do you think about that pick? I love this pick as long as the medical checks out. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, giving giving up it to get back in, you better be doing it for a special guy because the way the board is falling. You got a ton of wide receivers available tomorrow, or jeez, I'm already in my head. It's still yesterday, today, yeah. um, in the second round. And by the way, uh, DeAndre Baker wound up going last night, so I guess the right. top corner is no longer available because um, a lot of teams did have him. But the top quarter on a lot of boards, uh, or a lot of other boards, still available. Either Greedy Williams uh, is the top corner on your board, uh, or Byron Murphy's the top corner on your board for I would say probably two thirds of. of teams Mm -hmm. um the other guys like baker but you know still you have two of the top three corners available um so ultimately if you're gonna make that move you better be doing it for a guy that is super super special and as long as the medical checks out sweat has the chance to be that this is a top 10 caliber prospect if the medical isn't an issue um he is and, and it's not just the the He's not a workout warrior. So they have this player track. And during is during game, all that stuff. And Montez Sweat during games was running faster than some of the DBs. It's insane. He's so fast. And so the ability to get out and set an edge, um, to not get out out flanked to a, you know, on an outside run play is huge. Obviously, <clears throat> main job, get up the field, get to the quarterback. Um, he's got great burst as well, can, can play with power. Um, he's tall, so you'd hope that he, that can convert into to batting down some balls. You know, it is a position where height truly matters. Um, so there's just so much to like. Um, the lineage, uh, he came through the same exact pipeline as Preston Smith, uh, who obviously was a good player for the Redskins. That, you know, Montez Sweat's going to have to be better than Preston Smith was to justify the the capital spent on him 
Um, but same high school, same college, and, and now same, same start to his pro career. I will say the medical is terrifying. Mm-hmm. Um, I talked to another team last night, and they had him off their board because they, you know, Sweat says that when he went to Houston on his final visit, he got correctly diagnosed and that his heart measured out in, at the right size. Mm-hmm. Um, but there was a lot of testing done prior to that. And you know, it, whether he found a test that he liked and then was able to put it out there publicly uh, or there wasn't you know an actual correct diagnosis and this last doctor was the misdiagnosis uh i guess we'll this have to monitor um they should do lots of testing they should be really you know this isn't like jonathan allen where it's like all right we're going to take a risk on a guy with a shoulder injury this is a heart condition of some kind and um it's 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 scary if you're wrong on that obviously because you're talking not just about a young man's career but a young man's life